bad day. Wesker, to what do I owe this pleasure? Stop wasting my time, Ada. Find Lewis, fetch me the amber. I should probably thank you for this room. Are you staying? Back me up. I'm not here to babysit you. See that you remain an asset and not a liability. I have absolutely no use for your incompetence. Easy with the threats, Wesker. Just get it done. I'll be in touch. Just had some business to attend to. I'm on my way now. Got it. See you soon. Ciao. Greetings and salutations, and this is Tech Renault here, back with more Resident Evil 4 separate ways. And yeah, that that's basically it. That's the intro. Hi guys. <laughs> Greetings, ladies, gentlemen, non-binary individuals. Um Hi. <laughs> I'm just being goofy. Anyway. Anyway. Me checking around where you originally find the dog. I think this is the time, about the time Leon found the dog, if I'm not mistaken. No, 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 no. Leon would have found the dog at the end of the... What do you... No, he would have found the dog during the last video, I think, because, uh... Either the last video or the video before, whenever Ada saw him pushing this gate right here, is when he, w when he would have found the dog. I could be wrong about this, but from, like, gameplay I've seen of the original, it looks like the dog, I think, was originally freed, like, right around this shack right here. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be misremembering too, because I haven't seen any of those Let's Plays on a long time. So I could also just be misremembering. Which is definitely a possibility. Okay. A friend of mine prefers how Leon plays the Ada, and I'm just like, I like the Ada's faster. I like the grapple. Well. Why well, this is faster. I like the grapple. I prefer her shotgun over the riot gun. No shade to the riot gun. The riot gun is goaded, but, you know. Just like this one a little better. My other doesn't know what you buying? Sorry, I can't do his voice well. What's that thing? He says something could go a long way, stranger. Oh, wait, I think it's a good gun. A good gun goes a long way, stranger. I can't do his voice. He has, like, he's some kind of um, English, I want to say. Cause like he's got like a strong one of those strong like less proper English accents, you know, like the ones like uh a deal well that almost sound Australian, but they're obviously not Australian. You know what I mean? Knife needs care every but, yeah. Could be the difference between there you are as you wish. Well that <laughs> I don't know if you know what accent I'm talking about, and I'm sorry if I offend anybody by saying like the it sounds similar to Australian. All I mean is it sounds similar. It's not the same accent, and it's easy to tell them apart. It just sounds a little similar. But yeah. Kind of just waiting for myself to finish saving so I can... Uh, Speak more. Don't really have anything to comment on at the moment. This I'm basically waiting for something to give me an idea what to talk about. I guess um, I guess I should talk about why I think this is better than the main game, if only by a little bit. Um, 
I guess I should talk about that. I like the way some things are handled in this DLC better. Like, for one, I personally think that, like, the way El Gigante and Sadler are held as are handled as bosses is way better than they are in the main game. The Ada's grapple ability adds a lot of like interesting stuff. Or well not interesting stuff. It adds like it adds more than you think it would to the El Gigante fight. It makes it a little more fun. You know? And then Sadler, Osman Sadler, his base non-mutated form is just faster and harder to dodge. So it's like He's actually challenging now, <laughs> which if you don't know, like the main game Sadler is kind of a joke. Even on hardcore, guy is not like, at, like compared to other bosses is more what I'm like talking about. Because compared to the bosses before him, like Krauser, Vertigo, Salazar, he just isn't that hard in the main game. However... If we talking about Sadler in the DLC, he is. Another thing I kind of like about the DLC more, though, is that it's just overall harder than the main game. And I do like that. I do like that I can play on standard mode and, like, get kind of an in-between from how the standard and hardcore feel on in the main game. Like, I get, like, a nice in-between. It's actually pretty fun. Because there's a reason I, like, go back and forth between playing hardcore and standard and a lot of Resident Evil games. And that's kind of just because a lot of them don't really hit the perfect difficulty for me. So I have to go back and forth to get, like, both sides of it. To get, like, the hard parts and the easy parts. Or not the easy parts, the hard parts and the more fair parts, you know. I think Resident Evil Village... It, Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 7 are kind of the worst at this. When you really think about it, because, um, standard in both of them is just piss easy. And then hardcore in both of them. Well, does the second have hardcore or does it just go straight to Madhouse? I forget which one it is. But whatever the hard mode in, in uh, 7 is and hardcore for Village are just way too hard like harder than re3 nightmare mode harder than re4 hardcore mode hard for my liking so like they don't really get a good balance anywhere and that's kind of like i love resident evil village don't get me wrong but like that's kind of my only gripe with it for the most part well that and i just i just don't care for the dollhouse section at all just personally speaking. I know some people love it because it's like more survival horror heavy. But no, it's not. It's it's horror. It's more horror heavy, not survival horror. Horror heavy. I feel like, to me, a survival horror game needs to have a way to fight back. That's what, to me, separates a horror game to a survival horror game. And it's really dumb, in my opinion, that games where you can't fight back are considered survival horror when really they're just horror. Survival implies that you're doing something to survive. And honestly, I don't consider running away from something and hiding enough to be considered doing something. If you don't know what I'm doing, I'm basically trying to find any semblance of a healing item <laughs> because yeah that <laughs> the ganados in this dlc definitely seem harder i really couldn't tell you why but they do seem harder here than they are in the main game That is something I talked about with the, with a friend of mine, the same friend who actually like gave me the money to get RE4, which I want to express again. I didn't ask for that. They were just kind enough to do that, and I really appreciate it. I don't you I don't really ask people for money to get things unless like I desperately need it. Like, say if I need money for food and I'm out of money, 
or something like that, like serious situations, you know. My guy, back the fuck up. You know, you gotta think about it though, they are a little harder here, and what I mean by this is, well, in the main game, in the main game, you're fighting a whole horde of these guys very early on in the game. And it's easier to not take damage than it is with this small group. So, like, if that isn't evidence enough that they're harder in the DLC, then I don't know what is. I think now I'm trying to figure out where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Is it through here? I think we gotta go through here. I think. Yeah, yes sir! Give me that ammo. Give me that ammo. We're gonna make some ammo stew for the enemies. Sir, sir, I got some ammo stew for you. Basically making an RE2 remake Let's Play throwback. That's a long old throwback too, because that Let's Play was like fucking three years ago, man. I did that Let's Play like almost three years ago. But yeah. Sorry if I'm going a little silent. I'm kind of reading something while I'm doing this video because uh, I got a notification and I'm just reading it, you know. Oh, damn. Looks like I'm taking damage again. Okay. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna stop recording commentary for a second so I can read this because I don't want the video to just be half silent, you know? So, real quick. Just gonna pause the commentary. Okay, read it. Okay, we, we back. We back. Sorry for the silence. Sorry for <laughs> all that. Oh damn, th this guy. How the fuck did you get up there? Wait a second. How the fuck did you... Th this man got super... What the fuck? I think that's the weirdest thing I've seen a Ganado do. That might be the weirdest. Because that shack is too high for him to climb up. How the fuck did he get up there? I'm being dead serious. How the fuck did he get up there? I've seen Godados in this game do some really weird shit, but that like takes the cake. How the fuck did that guy get up there? Man's got like super leaping abilities or something like got a triple jump and shit like he in a 3D platformer. <laughs> guy just like teleported up there or something. What the fuck? That's funny, man. Like how the fuck did he get up there? But yeah. Uh, I don't need it that bad. Oh. Okay, so Leon can get it, but Ada can't. You're too good to grab that, Ada. I, I see you. I see you. 
I see you, Ada. Here's past me trying to figure out how the fuck you're supposed to grab it. God damn. For a second, I thought it teleported back up there because that shine kind of made me thought it was up there. There we are. We have some treasure here. Grab that. There we go. We got another one. So we got some gems to put in shit now. We just need shit to put the gems in. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to trigger a boss though. I'm just wondering when it's going to trigger. Trigger. Remember earlier when I was talking about like, I think the Saddler and El Gigante are handled better in this DLC. Well, you're about to see the example for El Gigante. Fourth time's the charm, huh? Fought you, fought you in the, in like three different areas in the main game. Now you're here. Honestly, I think this might be this this might be the same one Leon fought in the early game. I I wouldn't be surprised if it is if it's the same El Gigante Le Leon fought in the early game in the main game, like the one. He fights in uh, chapter four, I think. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it's the same one. Because we are in an area that's kind of close by, or at least close enough to where you fought him the first time around. And to me, at least, he looks like he's a little damaged. But maybe that's just how he always looks, and that's just in my head. Who knows? Sir, do not bring whatever the fuck you were wielding, because I wasn't paying attention, to a gunfight, sir. Okay, his thing's out, so let's uh, grapple up before he hits me! Ooh! Oh, that was close. Damn, that was close. <laughs> the guy almost got me. Man's literally almost got me. That was real close. Okay. Oh, we must... Did he fall down or... I saw the screen shake. Did he fall down or... No, he didn't fall. We still gotta do more damage. There we go. I like the way Ada hits him too. Like, with Leon, you just kinda like slash, slash, slash with your knife. With Ada, you like do all these tricks and shit, which is pretty fun. This thing's a little easier to hit here, too, because the arena is a little bigger. I think that's 
also why I kind of prefer this version of the fight. There's a bigger arena to run around. And that bigger arena kind of helps. Kind of helps balance the fight out a little more. Did he drop? No, he's doing a move. Okay. I thought it's just in time. Did, have I not been hit by this guy so far? I might not have. This might be the first time I've done a no-hit run on El Gigante, and if it stays that way, I'm going to be kind of proud of myself, because I don't think I've been hit by this guy once. Damn, he's taking a lot of hits just to go down again. I might be wondering, why am I not just grappling up? Well, it's just easier to run around. But now I'm kind of fed up with it, so I'm just going back up. We also got some loot back here I want to grab real quick, so there's that too. Whew. Yeah, I don't think I've been hit once by this guy. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cute. <laughs> Okay. You're too slow. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. He kind of was, though. He kind of was with that one. Hell, guy moved before the air up hit him. At this point, I'm just gonna use the handgun until he drops. Fucking finally, man. Like, it took so much damage to get you to do that. There we go. Hey, got a smoke? I do, the kind you like. Now where's the amber? Fortunately, it's not on me at the moment. And you really should be telling me what a good job I did. Busted my ass and managed to hide it right before I got caught. Which is why I'm still alive. The deal was, we get you out of here when you deliver the amber. No amber, no protection, Luis. <laughs> Such a stickler for details, Hyde. Okay, then. I'll go get it now, how about that? And I do have something else I need to get, too.
and we're going to be ending off the video right about here, so bye!